Good morning and welcome back to your daily uh, tarot reading for Healing Our Souls. This one's for Sunday, March 3rd. The moon's in Sag and uh, I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot as usual. And this one, yes, the High Priestess coming in in the morning. Ooh, looks to me like some good meditation time this morning. Also, is very good for uh, higher self-guidance that you may wake up with because of this amazing Pisces stellium we have going on that is very helpful. Oh, I love this. Ten of Swords reversed. <laughs> Perfect. Let me bring this down just a little. There we go. So Ten of Swords reversed means, uh, of course, walking away from things that used to hurt you, letting, letting the the little nigglies or the old betrayals, maybe a meditation you got that it's time to just let it, let everything go. And then we have the Page of Wands reversed. I uh, be, and <laughs> you let everything go because you realize that it sucks your energy, right? If we're not letting go of the old betrayals, but but it's a process though. You know, I never want to say that I. Uh, uh, I just don't like putting anybody down for any feelings, real feelings that they're having. But at some point, you do want to just let go of everything because it does hold you down. It does weigh you down. The uh, traditional, you know, um, Ten of Swords has, you know, the person laying on the ground and all the swords are on their back. But when it's reversed, the swords are falling out. Uh, sometimes people will say it's laying on a bed of swords. So if that's the case, it would be you know, true that if we don't listen to our higher selves, we are pretty much going through, if we don't meditate, it's a real need spiritually. If we don't meditate and we don't, even if it's only five minutes, or just checking in with your feelings and writing you know, in journals, uh, that inner work is so necessary for our spiritual progress, and that's why we're here. We're here to work through our dualistic conflicts. And uh, the more we do that, the swords fall out from our back. They fall out from our, you know, physicality structure. All these, we could look at the ten of swords here. You know what? Let me let me grab the um, let me grab Jamie's deck so we can just look at just take. You know how it goes when you have an image. Okay, so this is the traditional, right? You're down. You just, you know, it's just too many. And we can look at each one of these swords as being a, a mental false belief, a mental uh, thing that we held on to. And so when we hold on to things, we attract them to us. We, it's, it's all about releasing them. But when it comes through reversed, they're falling out. Those false beliefs are falling out. There's no... Uh, you know, we can't hold on to anything anymore. And if you look at them, a lot of people look at the little image of um, his hand there. It's like the way some people meditate, sometimes with like, you know, the mudra, you know, like your fingers together, which it, whichever finger you want to use. I think it's usually the middle finger. But anyway, see? <laughs> and... We don't know if the artwork was meant to be that way or not, but I liked I like using it, and I'm sure that most artists just channel things, and they don't they don't know why they're drawing it the way they draw it or paint it the way they paint it, but it's the way it comes through, and it's meant to be that way. So, the message for us in this card you can see is, it is ruled by Mercury and Virgo, so we are dealing with letting go of anxiety when this card comes through reversed. So walking away, letting letting all the little nigglies fall out from the head, you know, it's beautiful. And the Page of Wands, straight up, is tons of uh, energy and enthusiasm for life and your life force that wants to move out. But we realize there's something that happens in dream time or waking up this morning, or maybe it's just listening to this reading, where the message is, is that... Uh, if we don't work to listen to our higher selves, to get into our, you know, that inner voice, that that really is a calling, is to connect with that inner voice, then I, we won't get to the place where we're, we, we do need that to be, to get to the place where we are free. 
And if we don't, then our life force um, is just drained. Because the Page of Wands reverse can be uh, feeling like they're, you're just tired all the time. And maybe th this is a day of healing and integrating. And so it is a restful, quiet, silent day. The High Priestess is a card of silence. So I am wondering if maybe that's maybe the big message for someone. It's all about checking in with your higher power, trusting your instincts, uh, you know, feeling into your, using your intuition to feel into your, you know, subconscious, unconscious, and um, and then just letting the the all the thoughts fall, right? All these all these thoughts, just letting them fall from your body. And then again with this, uh, with the Page of Wands coming through reversed, well, it depends on, I'll just throw out all the meanings and you guys can decide what it is for you. It can change some ideas that you were uh, wanting to um, to work on. It, it's, it could be that you realize that you need to go inside and get more guidance from your higher self and maybe the timing isn't right. I, and maybe you're walking away from betrayal in the past and you want to go out on your own and do it all on your own without a partner. I, and then maybe this, here's the bigger message I'm getting, is that without connecting with your higher self, you can't really find your, your focus, your direction. There's a lack of direction that, um, you know, in, in a person's life when they're not meditating. And you don't have to, um, you know, if you have trouble sitting, nobody has to sit cross-legged. That's just ridiculous. But uh, if you can and you want to, go for it. But you can meditate lying down, but you just definitely need silence. You need to go within and you need silence. If you want to meditate with angel music or any kind of music, go for that as well. I, me, I, I, love, I love the silence. I don't like even white noise. But work, do work with, with what, you know, is good for you. Do what's best for you. And um, it's all about hooking up with your higher self. So, okay. I can't wait to see how it was for you guys. <laughs> Take good care and let me know. <laughs> Bye.